James look at those pink flowers. Let's take one home to plant in the garden. Good idea. Actually, that's not a good idea. It's a flower from mimosa tree, an invasive species in Georgia. What's an invasive species? An invasive plant species is a plant that is introduced to a new environment that is outside of its native habitat. Okay maybe that's not a good idea. Are invasive species that big of a deal? Yes. They can disrupt or dominate the ecosystem and drastically change the dynamic of the surrounding plants and their interactions. And people like you unknowingly cause the spread of them. Wow. I didn't know that. We should go home to look up more information about invasive plants. So how do invasive species spread James? The internet says that invasive species can spread due to wind and pollinators but are mainly spread by humans, which most of the time is unintentional like us in the woods earlier. What type of people are at a higher risk of spreading invasive species? Gardeners, people that travel a lot, hikers, campers, and everyday property owners can mistakenly spread invasive plant species. How could these people that travel spread those plant species to new areas? Many people pick up pollen and seeds from their boots, clothes, camping equipment, and firewood and carry them back home with them. Some people even go to foreign lands for vacation and bring back exotic fruits and plants without thinking about the repercussions. This figure I found shows a park in Australia, where there is a higher diversity of exotic plants on roads, edges of trails and in ski resorts. Areas high in tourism, like this national park show how invasive non-native plants get tracked into these areas. Let's go outside to our garden and see if any invasive plants have made their way into our yard. So from reading online, is there any way to prevent this James? Surprisingly yes. There are a lot of ways that people can stop the spread of invasive plants. How so? It can be as easy as cleaning your hiking boots. Being conscious and knowledgeable of the species around you is the key. You want to ensure that you aren't introducing any new pollen to your environment, so cleaning your hiking gear, only planting native plants, or buying firewood locally can all reduce the spread of invasive species. What if I see an invasive plant in my area? The best thing you can do if you come across an invasive species is to eradicate it. In some communities, there are even volunteer groups you can join that are solely focused on the removal of invasive species. That's awesome. I'm going to see if there is a group near us. I'm so glad we learn more about invasive species. Now we can relax and enjoy our vacation. Me too. But let's not forget to be aware of unintentionally spreading invasive species. You're right. Tourism is one of the leading ways that non-native plants are spread to new areas. While we are having fun here at the beach, we could also be spreading pollen from back home, or picking up new pollen that we don't want to carry anywhere else. Let's just be careful, and make sure to clean off any clothes or gear that may have come into contact with exotic species. We don't want to disturb this beautiful ecosystem. These two learn a very important lesson today. Invasive plants affect everyone on the planet, and by increasing knowledge surrounding the subject, we can work to reduce the negative effects that these species have on our ecosystems.